All right, then. Next and last call for today is these freezers. Six doors. Not working. Manager says that these three doors right here, which is one case, RKSF018, is the one that was not working. But I found that this one, which is going to be RKSF01B, has no airflow up top. So I had them empty the bottom two, and I told them I'd check it all out. So we've got it. Froze up. We may have a plugged up drain here, depending on where it's at. I'm gonna have to get some hot water in here and see, but we've got a wall of ice that is blocking air. Look, it's nice. <laughs> Gotta find the drain. There it is, in the middle. Right where I thought it would be. Notice how we have a melt pattern right here. I bet you that heater's working. Betcha. Betcha. So we gotta get all this ice off. That's gonna be fun. Hey, at least we got some hot water, you know? Hot water always makes it easier. Much better than cold water. I've done this before with cold water. It truly, truly sucks. I tell you what, if you don't have a drain that works like that, you will be here all night. If you get lucky enough to have scorching hot water and a drain that works pinche good like this one, consider yourself lucky. Important. This is a problem. They are overstocking. It should be flat like that, not like that. They better know what's good for them. If they do that, their stuff's not going to work. Now, those of you who are new to this, in case you get to this point and you think you're done, think again. You must look behind in the back. It's really hard to see on camera, but there is ice back there, a lot of ice. And that's where the majority of the airflow is blocked, okay? So look carefully, right there, okay? I'm gonna show you again here in a minute. You can kinda see over there. It's kinda what it looks like, halfway melted, look. Okay, well, maybe not. So, I'm gonna melt that back there and show you guys how it should look. Look at what I'm talking about. I don't know if the camera will show, but that's like, that's about two inches high, maybe three inches high in its highest spot, okay? Always check the back wall. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of a working drain. Look, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but look right over there, where the back wall meets the bottom of the shelf in the back. You see, there's no shadow, no gap. This is the second door. Well, you don't see a shadow, but The back wall's pushed in all the way on this one. It's pushed in 
on this one bowed inward like like instead of being flat it's like that because they have overpacked it this one's like that they're all like that this is a good opportunity to show you what half ass looks like and properly done looks like so uh, from this point that way it's all properly done okay but if I was to stop here on this one that would be a half-assed job okay Sorry about the focus, you guys. It's like, I can't get anything to focus to save my life. There we go. You see the glaciers? Glaciers. Got to get all the glaciers out. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. This is how you properly de-ice a case. Okay? Except no substitute. That concludes the icing the case video today. Class dismissed. This is our moment. Yeah. Now, something to keep in mind is if you have caved-in walls like this, you will not get airflow up here at the top like you're supposed to. Oof. That one's really caved in. That's pretty bad over there. But the manager don't want to do nothing about it, so I'm going to note that on the ticket and let them know that um, the case is probably not going to get down to temperature and operate properly like this. I told him, though. And with all that being said, I don't think we have a defrost problem on this case. I think that this case runs and runs and runs and runs because it can never reach set point because most of the walls are caved in. So it hovers somewhere around 6 degrees and therefore freezes. Also, if you have doors that don't close properly, which this one kind of does. See? Mm. 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 Maybe not. I don't think that's what's affecting this, this case, though. But that's how you check doors. You just pop them like that, okay? Pop them, and release. Pop them and release. Pop, release. If they don't close from being that far open, it's a problem. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.